Hello, my friends, and welcome back to our blind let's play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. My name is Flatless Burr, this is your Story Beast Gaming channel, and we have a predicament. We have a picture which. Well. We have a picture which. Uh, I don't know what to do with this picture. I, I don't. I don't get what the game is trying to get us to understand about this picture. And I don't know what we're supposed to do. Because again, I thought maybe the guy would be wearing gloves, but the only thing I can think about this picture is the two people look exactly the same. Since the two people look exactly the same, how can you tell which one is which? But I don't know how to explain that. Now, I could object to the enlargement, or I could show other evidence. I just don't know what evidence to show. Oh my god. I think I found it. I, I, I think I see it. The murder weapon. 22 caliber, fire three times, bears prints from Edgeworth's right hand. That's a left hand shooting. Oh, I see it. Oh my gosh, I see it. But how do I explain it? How, how do I explain this? Um, uh, I gotta, I gotta show this evidence, right? Yes? Oh. Yes, show other evidence. Wait. Your Honor, the e this evidence. I believe we have spent enough time talking about evidence. Hmm, indeed. Uh, we've heard opinions on every piece of evidence with this enlargement. Uh, I see no point of retracing our steps. This is bad, real bad. What should I do? Are you kidding me? I can't show the the thing that I want to show, but I see it. He's definitely shooting with his left hand. Come on, let me say that. Oh, okay. I guess we'll. I I don't think I don't think anything will work. To be honest, we're gonna have to say wait and see. But before we do that, let's try everything we can. Your Honor, there is something decidedly wrong with this enlargement. Uh, who may that be? Uh, Mr. Wright, uh, you will show the court what you mean. What about this photo is strange? Okay, here goes nothing. I'll show the judge what's wrong about this, what's strange about this photo. Okay, maybe I have to click on his hand because it's the wrong hand. Here, Your Honor. Uh, the shooter? I'm not sure what I'm What about the shooter, Strange? Look at the hand hold. Yes! Yeah! Uh! Look at the hand holding the pistol, Your Honor. I'm sorry, I'm getting psyched. Uh, the hand? That hand directly contradicts another piece of evidence. This man's left hand. Uh, this man's left hand does what? Let me show you. I'll show you the evidence that the left hand contradicts. Yes! The evidence is clear. The man in this photograph is holding that pistol in his left hand. However, the prints on the murder weapon were from Edward's right hand. Ergo, the man shooting the pistol in his photograph is not Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, I feel so good! Uh, now that everyone in the courtroom is quieted down, I would like to reconvene the court of law. Uh, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor? Uh, you have given us definitive proof today. We now know that it was not Mr. Edgeworth who fired the pistol that night. However, 
This leaves us with a rather large problem. If Mr. Edgeworth didn't do it, then who shot our victim? Precisely. As we have seen, there were no other people on the lake that night. Who but the defendant could have shot the victim? Uh, oh, interesting. I think it was the victim himself. Now, I want to pick something like Larry. <laughs> just to see what would happen, but if you look at the top right, uh, this it's just going to say we're wrong and we'll lose, you know, hit points. It wasn't Miss Hart. There's no way she could have done it. She was too far away. So the only answer, when you rule out all other logical answers, must be the answer. No matter how insane that answer seems. I don't know if I said that quote right. I probably didn't. But you know what I'm talking about. There's only one explanation remaining. The man who shot the victim was none other than... The victim himself. Uh, order, order, I say. So, uh, you are saying that the uh, victim committed suicide? Yes, your honor. I can think of no other explanation. Hmm. Indeed, uh, that does seem to be the only remaining option. I'm so very, very sorry, Mr. Wright. But suicide is out of the question. What? Why? An examination of the victim's wounds revealed the distance at which he was shot. The distance? The victim was clearly shot from further than a meter away. A uh, meter. So that's three feet. I'm trying to... I'm holding out my arm here. And... I don't think my arm's three feet long. <laughs> I mean, I know that sounds dumb for me to say. It's just... I, I want to explore every possibility. There is no way it could have been suicide. Order, uh, order, I say. Uh, Mr. Von Karma, are you sure of the accuracy of your data? Of course. I had already considered the possibility of suicide, you see. Autopsy report updated. Of course the autopsy report's getting updated. Uh... Sometimes shot on the... Sometime on the 24th or 25th, shot from approximately one meter away. Hmm. Uh, I see. Uh, very well, let me just state uh, my opinion. Considering the uh, situation, the shooter had to be the defendant, Mr. Edgeworth. However, the uh, prints of the gun reveal that the shooter was not Mr. Edgeworth. What? Bears prints from Edward's right hand. The prints on the gun reveal that the shooter was... Oh, okay, I see what he's saying. He's saying basically because we showed that the shooter was left-handed, even though the prints are from his right hand, the one doing the shooting couldn't have been him. I understand. Well, uh, this is a conundrum. Yes, it is. Therefore, I would like to suspend proceedings for the trial for the day. Uh, the court orders the defense and the prosecution to uh, further investigate this matter. Understood. Yes, Your Honor. Ah, oh, the dots. Uh, that is all. This court is adjourned. Yeah, it's a shame I couldn't get here yesterday, but like I said, I had... Uh, I had a... Uh, to be fully honest with you, everyone. I had a fantasy football draft. If you don't know what fantasy football is, it's basically Dungeons and Dragons for sports fans. And I love American football. And we had the draft going on. So I, I literally couldn't have gone longer or else I would have missed the draft. And if you miss the draft, then basically you miss 
all the other fun that goes on. It's sort of like if you play D&D and your first session is making a character and you don't show up and then you show up for the second session and the DM just says, here, I made you this character, take this character. And no matter how you feel about the character, the DM forces you to play the character. It's sort of like that. So if I wasn't there, then I would have just been given a random character that I may not have liked. And uh, then the rest of the time playing wouldn't have been as fun. So, yeah, that's what happened. December 26, 1.15 p.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Whoa, that was a close one. Oh, the dots. Hey, don't you have anything to say? No, I have yet to be declared innocent, right? Well, yeah, but, you know... What happened out there on that lake, anyway? If he didn't commit suicide, then who? The shooter was about a meter away, too. What? Don't give me that look. I did not kill him. I was just kidding around. Hmm. Look, I'm going to go check on Maya. Oh. Right. What? Tell her something for me. What's that? Are you going to say tell her thanks? Come on. I knew you could say it. I knew you could say it. Come on. I knew you could say it. Come on. Tell. Tell her to watch what she says in court. Ah. You came so close. Aw. But I think that's a work in progress. Yeah, uh, uh, we're getting there. I think we're getting to him. That's all. Would it kill you just to say how you really feel with a thanks, Edgeworth? Yeah, exactly. I always like to say I love it when the protagonist and I are, are on the same page. By the way, I hope everyone's having a wonderfully fantastic day today. Uh, I'm having a pretty good day overall. I just literally woke up out of bed. I'm trying to do this recording before I go to my uh, family's house because I'll be there the entire day and I'm not going to have time to record. So I'm trying to get this, you know, done. So we'll have a video tomorrow. I requisitioned a testimony of Lada's entire testimony. I'm sorry. I read that completely wrong. <laughs> I requisitioned a transcript of Lada's entire testimony. I don't know why that says was so hard to say. I thought it might give me some ammunition for the trial tomorrow. Of course, she didn't see the shooter. So the only part of her testimony that stood was the bang she heard. Lada's de deposition added to the court record. I heard two sounds like gunshots just after midnight on 1225. To be continued. But we're still gonna truck a little bit further. Yeah, I don't I don't think there was a way I could have I mean I I tried. But yeah, there was there was no way I could have finished that. Let's head to day two investigation. I feel this is gonna end like you know, on the twenty seventh. It's gonna take three days. And then the next trial will be the start of the 15 years trial. I mean, it, the, the, the 15 years has to have something to do with this case. December 26th, detention center visitor's room. Maya. Aw, she's back in jail again. Poor Maya. Hey, Nick, it's you. I'm glad Mr. Edgeworth made it through the day, okay? It's a real relief. Hey, um... Why'd you do that anyway? All the dots. I don't know. I, I just knew I had to do something. I know I'm not the lawyer my sister was. All the dots. I'm sorry. Well, you did save the trial. Just behave from now on, okay? Oh, okay. Maya, you are a hero. I want you to know that. Smile for the camera. This guard monitors the visitor's room. He hasn't been an inch since I came in. A real pro. Have you been questioned yet? No, not yet. 
Detective Gumshoe was just here now. He said, seeing as this is your first offense, we'll let you go after questioning. Yay! Woo. Oh, and he wanted me to get bail money ready. Uh, you can pay for me, okay? Huh? How much? I don't know. I guess I'll send you a bill or something. Why do I picture giant bales of money every time I hear the word bail? <laughs> Any luck with uh, Mia? None. I can't get through to her at all. I tried. I really did. I don't know what to do. All the dots. I think I probably shouldn't have stopped my training. Hmm. She sounds like she really did her best. I should check to see if there are any waterfalls in the local area. <laughs> I wonder if I'll ever see my sister again. Aw, poor girl. So where are we going? Seems like an empty place to go without Maya. December 26th, Wright and Company Law Offices. All the dots. Show is quiet with nobody around. Right. I have to get Maya out of that detention cell soon. Yeah, it's... There's not even any music. It's really depressing. Looks like it's cleaning day again at the hotel across the way. I hear they're planning a second branch outside the city. I can see the bellboy getting the angle of that screwdriver in the drawer just right. <laughs> Mia's favorite plant. Its name is Charlie. Maya's gotten a knack of watering it lately. Charlie's been perking up these days. Yeah, here's the, uh... That's the Samurai poster fight. Um, yeah, that's when he dropped the book on his foot. And if we have more clients, we'd probably sit here. But lately, I've been uh, spending more time on the couch watching TV. Yeah, I didn't think there would be anything here, considering no one is here, but I decided to go here anyway. December 26th, Gold Lake Park entrance. There are fewer than there were here yesterday, but the cops are still around in the park. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe is here today. Well, let's look around as always. I feel winter's chill from the bare leaves today. There's a lot of trees here. I guess that's why they call it a nature park. It's quite pretty when the cherry trees along the lakeside blossom in spring. Today, it's just cold. Yeah, I can imagine how beautiful that would be. Seriously, that would be really amazing to watch. The sign says Gord Lake Na Nature Park. This place is full of families picnicking on the weekend. It's a little cold for picnicking these days though. All right, nothing else here. Move on. Where are we going? I kind of want to get Maya out of the uh, jail cell, so let's go here first, actually. I know that's kind of a change of direction, but... December 26th, Police Department, Crim Criminal Affairs. Detective Gumshoe's not here. Uh, Gumshoe's at the scene again today. Huh? Oh, really? He's a live wire, that one. Got into a fight with the chief for not following protocol. Oh, really? Not following protocol? I bet you want to help them build a case against Edgeworth. Aw, what a guy. That must be one of the detectives. He is mumbling something to himself. Mumble, mumble. Don't do anything rash. Why jump? Uh, you have every reason to live. All the dots. He must be doing image training for talking down a potential suicide. These are the detectives' desk. There are computers and files in each one. Funny, they're a lot tidier than I expect. I guess detectives don't spend a lot of time at their desk. This must be the chief of the detectives here. He is glued to his computer screen. What? Uh, rook to uh, Bishop Seven. <laughs> He's playing jazz. <laughs> Checkmate? I don't believe it. He must be playing chess on the computer. Very productive there, Chief. A uh, poster of a female officer. Wait, no. That's the latest babes in uniform calendar. My bad. Hey, is that the police department's mascot? Uh, that's the blue badger. It was my idea. I made it. It's my mascot. I see. How nice. You know you would have 
better people at your department? If instead of having a mascot like that, you had a penguin mascot. Just saying. Penguins are cool. I'll get him assigned mascot. I'll get him assigned mascot of the criminal affairs department if it's the last thing I do. Man, I had to read that sentence twice. Um, good luck. Okay, well, I guess my initial inkling to go to Gord Lake is correct because we need to find the detective. Let's head on into the beach. December 26th, Gold Lake, Public Beach. I haven't seen Larry around today at all. Probably all pain through the nose on a date with the lovely Kiyanse. Where is the detective at? Maybe he's on the boat docks? A hot dog stand. It's closed. The Christmas fringe looks a little half-baked. The banner reads Samurai Dogs. Somebody needs to redecorate. The famous Gord Lake. Its green waters stretch out on both sides. It's a pretty big lake, really. A lineup of plastic benches. I guess the idea is you buy a dog and eat it here. I doubt anyone would sit here and eat on a day like this. Except maybe Maya, if she had a samurai dog. The trash can is empty. At least the place is well maintained. Alright, well let's go to the boat docks. December 26, boat rental shop. Looks like the boat rental shop is close to day two. Man, I hit the X button right as the box appeared, so no text actually scrolled on the screen. I gotta be careful with that because I don't want to miss dialogue. Ah, uh, let's see. No clues here. There's more forest on that way. I doubt I find any helpful clues in there. A small boat rental shop. Doesn't look like anyone is around. They're probably closed because of the murder. I missed the boat. There are some boats floating at the dock. The murder took place in this boat from in a boat from this dock. Apparently the police took away the actual boat that was used that night. Indeed, there's space for one more boat at the dock. Wasn't there any evidence on that boat? Okay, we gotta go to where a lot of heart is. So that's here. Detective, if you're not here, I'm gonna go crazy because this is the last place I'm looking. December 26th, Gord Lake Woods. And when I say last place I'm looking, I mean it's the last place I could look. There he is. Hey, Detective Gumshoe, what's up, pal? Uh, hey, pal. Yeah, the trial today, it air. Hell, it did. Yes, what about the trial? Well, I was going to say, a uh, good show, but it wasn't really, you know, all that. Though you did save, uh, Mr. Edgeworth, I guess. I just wasn't sure how to thank you, you know? Er, uh, thanks? <laughs> Let's look around. I wonder why she brought a camping cooker with her. There's a convenience store right up the street. I guess you want to get in the outdoor spirit. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think Lada takes very good care of her SUV. It's covered with dents. I can't believe anyone would drive the car down here. The trees grow quite thick around here. Further back, the trees fade into the shadow where the sunlight can't reach them. The sign says no camping. Funny place to pick to pitch your tent. There's food and some magazines on the sheet. It takes a pretty tough skin to camp in this cold. Can't look at the lake. Weird. Lada's camera is staring out at the lake as usual. Even a novice like me can tell me that camera must cost a pretty penny. I hope she doesn't leave it out here to get stolen. Alright, well let's go talk to uh, Detective Gumshoe, shall we? How you doing, Detective? Detective Gumshoe? Uh, any idea what strategy Von Karma is planning for tomorrow? Well, it sounds like he's bringing in another witness. Another witness? Oh, right. He said something about that in the trial today. There were two witnesses. I was wondering who that other witness was. This is such a strange flashback. We flash back to him just saying, There were two witnesses. <laughs> I love it. Er, uh, who was it? 
Uh, sorry, pal. As much as I'd like to, I'm not at liberty to divulge that information. Right. Oh man, it's gonna be a surprise. Was it the the boat owner, possibly? Oh right, I want to ask you something about Edgeworth. Ah, uh, what's it, pal? Is he uh, afraid of earthquakes? I never heard anything about that before. Now the dits. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't talk about himself too much, you see. But there's one thing that's clear as day. Him hating crime the way he does? When the earth moves? He's on a boat, could that cause him to act weirdly? And him becoming a prosecutor. And him being scared of earthquakes. But I mean, does it have to be an earthquake? Could it just be like the ground moving? Uh, so sort of like emulating uh, a boat on the water? I know I just said that, but sometimes I like to say things twice just so I can see if they sound crazy or not. I, I don't know if that makes sense, but it's how my brain works. It all started with an incident. The DL6 incident? Yep, that's the one. 15 years ago, when he saw his father's shot before his very eyes, he still feels the pain now. You can see it in his eyes. I want to talk to you about Maya Fay. Huh? She's not on bail yet? That's strange. I told them to let her go as soon as they had their uh, report written up. Man, I don't want, I don't know what would have happened in that courtroom today if it weren't for her. Seeing her getting dragged out by the bailiff? I'll be honest with you, pal. I, I shed a tear or two. Aww. Mr. Edgeworth, he was so moved, I saw his lip trembling. Really? Cold as ice Edgeworth? He was really grateful for what she did, you know. I'm going to head back to the station. I'll get the report on mine and get her out of there as soon as I can. Thank you. Oh, wait. Um, I was wondering, how much is bail going to be? Ah, don't worry about that. Miss Edgeworth is posting the whole amount. Really? Wow. See, he can't say thank you with his words, but he says thank you with his actions. I'm starting to like Edgeworth a lot. What? Edgeworth? Ah, didn't I tell you? He's grateful to her for what she did. Alright, pal. Well, don't forget to go pick her up, okay? Hmm. How are we supposed to pick her up? We don't have a car. That's something that still bothers me about this game. I don't know why, but... How is Phoenix getting around to all these places? Maybe he does have a car and he just doesn't have a license. But then again, you know what I mean? Do they have, like, some sort of really good traffic system in Japan that I don't know about? Uh, if you live in Japan, let me know. What is traffic like in Japan and the, um, and the, uh, the public transportation system? In some parts here in the USA, it's really good. In some parts, it's really bad. So when I used to live uh, in the place where I lived growing up, uh, I could walk about a mile and get to a bus stop. And then from a bus stop, get to a, a train, call it a metro rail. And then from the metro rail, I could go anywhere I wanted in the city. So the transportation system was really good. But where I live here, there is no transportation system basically at all. There's a couple buses that run, but few people actually use them. So, you know, it depends on where you live. Hmm. Maybe I can get Edgeworth to pay this month's rent, too. <laughs> ah, it's so good. All right, let's head back to pick up Maya. Because I can't do anything without my partner. No, not my sidekick. She's my partner. Make sure we say the words correctly. December 26th, D Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Hey, Nick, you finally came. They just finished the paperwork. I'm free to go. Free at last, eh? Those interrogators were really mean. They were like, okay, what did you do this time? Wow, that is kind of cold. Like I was some kind of criminal. Can you believe it? Well, they let you out in the end, didn't you? Didn't they? Hmm. Oh, that reminds me. Thanks for the bail. 
Uh, thank Edward, actually. Huh? He posted bail for you. Said he was grateful for what you did. Mr. Edgeworth did that? All the dots. I had to make it up to him. I think you already did. But, you know, sure, work as a team. We got to win this case, Nick. I agree. What to do? What do you think we should do next? Uh, what kind of luck in the clues department? We could go to the park and look for Gordy. How is finding Gordy? I mean, I don't think Gordy shot the other guy. All the dots. I, I was kidding. Okay, <laughs> there we go. I love you, Maya. Still, if there are any clues out there, the park's as good as, as any. Uh, what do you say? Shall we head down there? Sure. Have you notified, have you noticed anything lately? Hmm. Uh, you know, I did notice one thing while I was here in detention. It's really pretty comfortable here. It's warm, and they keep it very clean. I meant... Have you noticed anything about the case? Uh, well, not much more than that, no. She's probably still upset about Maya. I should leave her alone. No, don't leave her alone. Take her with us. Let's go. Let's take her back here first. Ah, fresh air. I gotta say, freedom feels great. Behave yourself in the courtroom tomorrow, okay? <laughs> this behaving is much more fun. <laughs> it's not going to be so much fun when Edward refuses to pay your bail again. All the dots. Right, I'll behave. Oh dear. <laughs> Anything to relook at now that she's here? No. Well, what should we do? I don't know. I've been in detention this whole time. I think I'll let you decide what we should do. Deal? Well, any thoughts you want to share? Well, I was in detention all day. I think I'd like more time to think. Poor Maya. She probably thought about Mia the whole time she was in there. Alright, let's get some real fresh air, shall we? December 26, Gold Lake Park entrance. There aren't many cops around here today, are there? They're probably back at the precinct, working up the case against Edgeworth. Hmm. Hey, y'all. Hey, it's Lada. Y'all really did it today. What do we do now? Nah, I'm not complaining. See, I did a little thinking. A little uh, self-reflection, you might say. I realize that being a witness is a mighty big responsibility. But I just went up there and started blabbing any old thing that came to mind. Lada. So you see, I want to make it up to y'all. Uh, make it up? Uh, what did you think of the trial? To be honest, I was doing it half just to say I'd been a witness. Even though I didn't really see nothing. I kind of convinced myself I had, though. I'm sorry. I know it caused y'all a lot of trouble. Well, memory's a tricky, fake little thing. Yeah, I sure know that now. I'll be fine the next time a witness a murder. Right. You mean the first time you witness a murder? <laughs> well, let's hope you don't witness any more murders, okay? What about Gordy? Right. Wow, that's a music stopper. Well, the way I figure, the trial's only stoking the flames of Gordy fever. I'll uh, get my exclusive photos and rock it to stardom. What's with people getting popular off of murder cases? Alright, Lada. You go, girl. I wish I could be an investigator for Dr. Bird, too. Uh, finish your spirit medium training first. How about that? Lada, what do you mean by making it up to us? Well, you see... Actually, I got a bit of information for you. What? That Von Karma didn't want me to say nothing about it. What information? Now we're getting to the heart of it. The lot of heart. See, I reckon we might be able to do ourselves a little exchange. Uh, exchange? Um, I thought this was to make it up to us. Right. I propose a little exchange to make it up to you. Huh? What? Information don't come cheap, my friend. 
Uh... Hey! I see you thinking. My, how unsophisticated these southern folks are. It's written all over your face. Let me tell you. Most southerners are way more sophisticated than you. I'm just the exception, okay? Well, what'll it be? We gonna deal or not? Uh, well, what do we do, Nick? Sure. We don't have any other leads, so I don't think we have a choice here. Exactly. Okay, how much? Huh? You completely off your rocker? I may not be sophisticated, but I'm trying- but I'm not trying to rob the poor. Huh? The only fair exchange for information is information. Oh, okay. I follow. Listen good. What I need from you is information about Gordy. Whoa, 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 whoa? Gordy? But, but Gordy doesn't- I mean, Gordy, he might not exist. Well, then bring me proof that shows you don't. Uh, how do we prove something doesn't exist? Do you want us to, like, empty out the whole lake and then search the bottom of the lake and say, look, there's no giant gordies here? I'll be keeping watch from the car, okay? You see something? Y'all come to me first, you got it? Uh, okay. Right. See y'all later. I don't think that's really helping paint us back, Lada. I'm just saying, I don't think you understand. And, and that word doesn't mean what you think it means, as they say in The Princess Bride. Oh, the dots. Okay, Nick, let's go hunting. Hunting? You don't seriously mean. Gordy? I sure do. What about Edgeworth? We're searching for Gordy for him, Nick. Don't you get it? Okay. And how exactly do we search for a make-believe monster? Maybe we can find a monster, Miss Specialist. Huh. I'm also thinking maybe we can use a boat to go out into the lake. But then again, that's not gonna help us either. I will probably just have to search the uh, park and see if we can find anyone. But we're gonna do that next time. Thank you everything for all that you do. I love you all so very much. Uh, my time here is gonna be way off. Because in the middle of recording, I, uh... I had to stop for a bit because like I said, I just woke up and it's allergy season here. So yeah, that's kind of annoying. So the next couple days and stuff, if I sound a little bit off, it's just because I'm dealing with sinuses. I always get bad sinuses uh, at this time of the year. Uh, but I love you all so very much. Thank you again. And until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.